So I want to thank everybody. I want you to have a great Christmas. I want you to have an incredible New Year. I think we're poised for tremendous uh, success in the United States. And uh, enjoy all that new equipment that we're getting you. It's all made in the USA. Very important. It's made in the USA, every bit of it. So thank you all very much. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Kim Jong-un is threatening a Christmas surprise for the oh, world. Oh, that's okay. We'll find out what the surprise is, and we'll deal with it very successfully. Let's see what happens. Uh, everybody's got surprises for me, but let's see what happens. I handle them as they come along. So you saw that. These are great people. Our military is now uh, replenished. We were totally uh, depleted when I came into office. And it's, uh, it's great stuff. It's great stuff. What's happened? And you see these incredible people. We have the best in the world. So it's totally replenished. Uh, new equipment's coming in on a daily basis. It's being made, all made in the USA. And our economy is the strongest it's ever been. What options are you considering, Mr. President, if it does end up being a long-range missile test? We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll — let's see. Maybe it's a nice present. Maybe it's a present where he sends me a beautiful vase as opposed to a missile test, right? I may get a vase. I may get a nice present from him. You don't know. You never know. Are you going to pardon Roger Stone, Mr. President? Say? Are you going to pardon Roger Stone, Mr. President? I don't understand the question. Ms. Uh, Roger Stone, are you going to pardon him, sir? He's been convicted of felony. Am I going to pardon him? Well, I hadn't thought of it. Uh, I think it's very tough what they did to Roger Stone compared to what they do to other people on their side. I think it's very tough. I think it's a very tough situation that uh, they did something like that. You know, Roger Stone was not involved in my campaign in any way, other than the very, very beginning before — I think I — long before I announced a little bit. I've known Roger over the years. He's a nice guy. A lot of people like him. And he got very — he got hit very hard, as did General Flynn and as did uh, a lot of other people. They got hit very, very hard. And now they're finding out it was all a big hoax. They're finding out it was a horrible thing. It was — we were spied on. My campaign was spied on. And again, Roger Stone was not a part of it, uh, the campaign. He was uh, somebody I've known over the years, but not a part of the campaign. Uh, very, very, very early on, long before — I think long before I even announced he was involved in a minor way. But he's a good person. And what they did to him is very unfair, in my opinion. And what they did to General Flynn is very unfair, in my opinion. And what they did to so many others is very unfair. And now we found out they're a bunch of dirty cops and uh, paid for by the DNC, paid for by Hillary Clinton in many cases and in much. They did a phony dossier. They used the dossier for FISA. And now, as you know, the FISA court and your top judge is very much involved. And hopefully they're going to do something about it. But these were dirty people. These were bad people. These were evil people. And I hope that someday I'm going to consider it my greatest or one of my greatest achievements, getting rid of them. Because we have no place in our country for people like that. Sir, what did President Putin say to you that convinced you that the Ukraine interfered in the 2016 election? What did he say to me? Yeah. About what? Did, what did President Putin so say to you? You're putting that? words in somebody's mouth. Who are you referring to? Me? I never said anything about it. I never said a thing about it. Right, any other questions? Mr. President. Are you concerned Pelosi will hold up the articles of impeachment indefinitely? Well, all I know is my poll numbers are the highest they've ever been. Our fundraising in the Republican Party is the highest it's ever been. Uh, she hates the Republican Party. She hates all of the people that voted for me and the Republican Party. And she's desperate to do — look, she got thrown out as speaker once before. She lost, like, 63 seats. 61 or 63, tremendous, a record-setting number of seats. I think it's going to happen again. She's doing a tremendous disservice to the country. Uh, she's not doing a good job. And some people think that she's uh, — she doesn't know what she's doing. A lot of people think that. A lot of people have said it. They had no evidence at all. They had no crime. We had 196 or so Republicans voting 100 percent. We didn't lose one Republican vote in the House. We had three Democrats come over to our side, and two in another instance, two in an additional instance. And we're in a very good position. Uh, ultimately, that decision is going to be made by Mitch McConnell, and he will make it 
You know, he has the right to do whatever he wants. He's the head of the Senate. People remember, they treated us very unfairly. They didn't give us due process. They didn't give us a lawyer. They didn't give us anything. Now they come to the Senate and they want everything. If you look back just two weeks, just look back at what they did. But over a long period of time, look at what they did. We weren't entitled to witnesses. We weren't entitled to lawyers. We sat in the basement. Uh, they would leak everything. They would leak it. We weren't entitled to do anything. They would leak selectively with a sick, corrupt politician named Schiff. He's a corrupt politician. Uh, no, they, uh, they treated us worse than anybody's been treated from a legal standpoint in the history of the United States. It's never happened before, where you can't have a lawyer, you can't have a witness, you can't have time. You didn't have, even uh, recently, when they had the constitutional lawyers, they got three lawyers, we got one. Fortunately, our one lawyer was better than their three. And we also had a much better case. We, had, we have a perfect case. I say it again, we have a perfect case. They had no case. But they had three lawyers, we were allowed one. They had three, think of that. They had three lawyers, constitutional lawyers, and each one spoke for an extended period of time. We had one lawyer. Uh, what do you think of that? So now they get to the Senate, and now we have the majority, and it's up to Mitch McConnell. And we have the majority, and now they want McConnell to do wonderful things for them. I mean, he's going to do what he wants to do. Very smart guy, very good guy, and a very fair guy. But they treated us very unfairly, and now they want fair fairness in the Senate. Uh, they ought to look back at the last year to see how they've hurt this country. Fortunately, we have a president that was able to uh, plow through all of the stuff that went on and goes on. And also, tremendous amounts of information are being written about, even by the fake news, uh, concerning FISA, concerning dirty cops, the people that started this whole thing. What they've done to this country is incredible, and hopefully it's going to be taken care of. The Attorney General's working, and everybody's working, but if you just go, because I like to stay out of it, and I do stay out of it, if you just go by what you see in the papers, uh, it's incredible what's going on. We had dirty cops. We had people spying on my campaign. They did terrible things, the likes of which have never been done in the history of our country. It's very sad. All right. Have a good time, everybody. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Chris. Merry Christmas, everybody. Mr. President, are you going to hold a signing ceremony? Guys, we're heading out. Let's go, guys.